Hello and welcome to Euronews tonight. Our top story. The French President Emmanuel Macron has staunchly defended his government's policies over the past two years in a speech aimed at halting the often violent Yellow Vest protests. Talking at length, Mr Macron rejected scrapping the reforms he has already introduced, saying he believed he was taking the country in the right direction. He also said he wanted significant cuts to income tax to stop jobs for life for top civil servants and to halt the closure of hospitals and schools in rural areas. His announcements were aimed at quelling months of street rebellion over planned diesel tax hikes, which developed into a broader backlash against inequality and a political elite perceived as being out of touch. Mr Macron emphasised that his policies were right for the country. I think the current changes and the ones we need to effect must not be stopped because they're the right answers to the problems expressed by our citizens. They were not fast enough in some ways or radical enough or humane enough. But I truly believe that the direction taken over the past two years is the right one. Well, President Macron is setting out his response to months of sometimes violent protests by yellow vests. And we have already heard some of his proposals there. Let's just go back to that press conference, which is still going on. It's live. And let's listen in to what else he is saying. Well, I was talking, the sole time I mentioned uh, the word uh, not working or laziness, I was talking about business leaders. I wasn't talking about uh, the working people of France, so don't put words in my mouth. The French people work hard. And when I talked about working more, it's about having more people at work. We still haven't beaten the problem of mass unemployment. So it's giving those people work that will mean work more as, as well. This is something that uh, must be fixed. So we have young people coming on to the job market whose parents never had work. Never. And no other country in Europe is in that situation. This is uh, uh, dramatic. We must resolve that. And that is what I'm saying. So, please don't uh, stereotype anything that I've said or misrepresent what I've said because I want people to be able to work and to work better. And I also am not saying that uh, the retirement should be a single type for everyone that applies to everyone, I, uh, not at all. Uh, everyone is in a very different case. So work well, earn well, and earn more if you work more. So, you know, when you're the president of a country, well, you have to keep your eye on a distant future, the long term, that perhaps goes beyond my uh, current term. And you've asked me if I will uh, run again uh, for a second term. So it's President Macron there setting out in some detail his proposals in that long anticipated response to the Yellow Vest protests. Well, Macron is now trending on social media, on Twitter. Let's get more on this from our team in the Cube with Alex. Jeanette, uh, the president is still talking and people are still talking. I think one thing that's really interesting from all this, Macron has shown himself to have, when he does speak, and especially these uh, debates around the country, he can go on for hours. And I think that is really helping the numbers we're seeing, pushing um, Macron into, these are the trends in France. The top four, I believe, these are, li these are live figures from Twitter. Top one is a press conference. That's um, the hashtag that's being used by many officials. The second one is uh, Macron at six o'clock. That's when he started, 6 p.m. started speaking. Conference uh, PR, an abbreviated form of press conference. Again, about Macron. Elise, oh, sorry, top five now. The top five tweets in France. France. And let's just bring you up um, in closing uh, who's talking about Macron and where they're talking about him. This is a Google Trends, the live data 
Uh, talking about Macron worldwide, you can see in the last uh, day he has shot right the way up to the top here. He's dipping off a bit now. Maybe that's because the speech is going on so long. But in the top five areas, it's worth saying France and the Francophone um, nations, Réunion, Martinique, Guadeloupe, St. Helena are the five most interested places in the president. So he's trending around the world, particularly with those communities, of course, who do speak French. So what was he saying? Well, while he is still speaking, his official Twitter account is pumping out tweets that are sort of summaries of his key points. This one here summarizes what the president believes were the key messages from the Gilets Jaunes. It'd be very interesting to see whether they agree with that. First of all, saying they gave me the message they want to tackle injustice, social injustice, among other things. They want, uh, there's a lack of confidence in the elites, they say. There's a feeling of abandonment. We need to provide answers. So if that's what the president is tweeting and people are talking about Macron, Jeanette, the question you posed, are the yellow vests and people who are critical of Macron stopping? Are they going to turn away from this? Well, just have a look at this. This is what one user tweeted. He said, if you want a very good example of balderdash and empty rhetorics in French, then listen to President Macron's speech. That person not identifying overtly as a gilet jaune, but certainly no friend of the president. Well, this user, Francois, he is quite a prominent user, even in his profile picture here, wearing that uh, yellow jacket, saying here, Macron has, in his mind, batted away, saying, well, I could have chosen this option, but I'm not going to follow that option, saying there's a sense here that Macron isn't actually listening. That is the sense we are getting from many of these accounts, Janat. So there will probably be those who think the grand debate was worthwhile, but there will be that hardcore, of course, hardcore, even more extreme on Facebook groups and the like, who believe that this is just a, the president repeating his same policies and it isn't the change that the gilet jaune or the hardest core gilet jaune really wanted to see.